Happy Monday morning! <laughs> uh, the owner is super involved and on it at these locations. Uh, so he sent me that picture last night. So, the carrier has a three blade. It's 22 inches, it's 24 degrees of pitch. I went through the cross reference. So, you're not gonna find a three blade locally. So I have a four blade, 22 inches, 23 degrees of pitch. So our airflow will be right. Uh, he also asked me to bring filters for the big makeup air unit and said that last night this unit was frozen up that the coil was frozen up which may have just been because of airflow if he knows he if he knows he was having filter drama we'll get into that next let's get the ac running first uh this unit has been short cycling the entire time i mean i've only been up here for a few minutes but it's just continually cycling on and off I'm assuming it's cycling on and off on low pressure, although I've got a clear sight glass. So either the coil's frozen up or we got a starved TXB or something. Uh, I have the motor for this. I had the motor in my, see there it goes again. I had the motor in my van, but I don't keep that fan blade. So Although it is more than likely, we will also change the fan motor. It's not a foregone conclusion. Like I don't have to. If, why did that come off? Why did that come off of its shaft? You know, is the unit vibrating? Did it just come loose after 16 years of operation? Because I can tell you, this is, an OEM, that is an OEM motor. And uh, it won't have a date on it. Twenty fourteen. Ten years. Uh, this is off. Boss left it off. All right, I just wanted to jump it see which way it spins so the fan does run spins this way all I needed to know so counterclockwise now if we ran it so this has to mount this way okay the the numeric test of whether we need to change this motor or not is just gonna be, I'm gonna put it in place. Uh, I've got it locked the heck in. We're gonna put it in place. I'm gonna bolt it down. I'm gonna clamp on and we're gonna check amp draws. These things are normally an amp. We got full load amps, 1.7 actually. So, if she's not over amping, then we're gonna let it ride. Talked about this before. But take note of where there are pre-drilled holes and where there are not. I had an employee doing a great job and making sure everything was down and he took a screw and he self-tapped it into there. Uh-oh. Yeah, and he drove it right into the coil. It didn't obviously leak immediately, but over time it leaked. The unit was flat and then we found it there. And we had to take this off, cut that section of the coil out, torch it. So, all right, let's get the amp, clamp. See if we gotta change this motor or not. I actually hope we don't. I hope for lots of reasons. For their sake, uh, they can save the money. For my sake, I can save the time. All right, so we're running 2.25 amps which is a combination of a few things. That's not the exact right fan blade, so it's offering a little more resistance and the old motor. So, we do indeed 
have to replace the motor. The wire's coming in, power's off, and I have discharged the capacitor. So you have power, power, capacitor, right? On these motors, four wires, black and white, power, power, brown to the capacitor, and then brown and striped takes power to the capacitor. I don't need to do that because I already have power coming to the capacitor here. So this is my power into the capacitor and this is my jump out. So I need to replace this, right? You can't lose sight of that. Uh, this, I don't know if this is a five or a 10, but what I'm putting in now takes a seven and a half. Uh, remember on carrier units, you have to upgrade. Okay, well you don't have to, but I would strongly advise if you're pulling out a quarter, yeah, that's a five microfarad. If you're pulling out a quarter horsepower motor and you put in a quarter horsepower motor, that sucker's gonna be dead in six months. Because these things say they're a quarter, but they're not really a quarter. They're a carrier quarter. So um, when we don't use the four wire, we just take the brown and white one, we cut it, we insulate it, we're done. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Better I drop the phone than the motor. All right, I would really love to have enough wire to chase this all the way through to the electrical section, but I don't. So what I've done is I've cut them here so that I can feed that through. Uh, and then I haven't decided whether I'll make my connections and secure them up in there or feed it through to the other side because I do have room on the other side. I just can't make it all the way home. No, I'm not. We're going to do it up there. Also, looky there. Yeah. All right, I've got this set. I'm rethinking my brain because with this going this way, okay, it's going to spin that way, which is counterclockwise, which is the opposite. It's orange to yellow and yellow to orange. Never know. She does not want to start. What's up with that? Super odd one, guys. Here it is. Let's let this come to a complete stop. I checked my connections in there and I confirmed I'm getting 208 volts into the motor. And we energized the motor and I tested my cap. I unhooked from it and I'm 7.49. So, but when she asks, motor does not want to get going. She'll slowly get there. She's pulling 3.8 amps, right? There she's finally going. I don't like it. Then she drops down to right at two amps, which is what this motor is supposed to run. This motor is going to overheat. If it sits there trying to click on, I can't figure out what its holdup is. Again, I went through here and checked good connections on my uh, capacitor, good power from my capacitor, good power from my lines in. This motor just doesn't want to get started in the morning. I just want to stop and start it a lot of times. I need to prove every time that this thing is going to start. That motor is a little heavier than this one, but not really. Or that uh, fan blade? No. I just can't take the chance that we put a new motor on this guy. And then, you know, later this week, she's clocking out on high pressure because my fan motor doesn't want to start. Odd. I think I'm just gonna come to the conclusion that I need to put a bigger fan motor on there. I don't think that third horsepower has the gusto to get it started with that four blade. Four blade. So, sucks, I'm back to the drawing board. I'm gonna put a half horse right. on there. Second verse, same as the first. We live and we learn. I'm happy to show that, right? So, now we have a half horsepower motor that runs three amps. Given the bigger fan blade, it's what's needed to make it happen. So now when we bump, hey, we start right up, we spin the right direction. 
and we're pulling 1.9 amps and we're allowed to pull three. So that's awesome. Why is that thing shaking like a son of a gun? Fan blades out of balance. So let's see what we can do about that. That's more better. It came with weights on it. I pulled them off just to see how she runs it that way. And she runs pretty smooth. I've got the power on, so we're gonna wait for it to kick up. Oh yeah. Hey, God. while we're here. <laughs> terrible but especially in the kitchen the prep area they're not good uh, I think this said 6-1 yep so it's so take a look so it's freezing up it's freezing up that way because with this panel on there's no trap and the water keeps splashing up our side glasses are clear. I don't have a refrigeration problem. I don't have an airflow problem as far as an inbound air goes. So this air is being sucked in this pipe. So that air being drawn in is stronger than the water being pushed out. So look what happens when you put a trap on it. That's why you need a trap. Now we're dumping the water out instead of splashing it up on the coil. Look at how much water. 